What's up, everybody? It's Halion, and I know it's been a, a little bit since we played some Dreamscape Error, but I never really felt like I was done with the game, but we just kind of got focused on other things, so I did want to keep going with it, you know? They got these intensities and different difficulties I want to try to climb. I make no promises. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do it offline. Hard to find time on stream nowadays, you know? Now we have some to-do list stuff. Not much, though. All right. After that, is there, can't really craft anything. It looks like we're kind of all set spending our resources, it would appear. I mean, the only other thing I really need to do is advance relationships, it looks. Well, I guess I should chit-chat when we can. Dancing. Rose is in the dancing. I have no gifts for you, Rosie. Bruce, we're already kindred spirits with. We're okay from there. All right. All right, let's see. So, I believe, yeah, we've done three. So how do we do four? I tried this, and it was hard. Just turns out like the bosses, like no matter what you go into them as, when you have this, when you have hard mode on for the bosses, it kind of doesn't matter how healthy you are going in, it feels. It just, uh, it's pretty crazy, I gotta say. All right, we'll try it though. Maybe we change something else. So like. That plus the damage received is rough. So let's see. So we can have more enemies or have bigger floors. Oh, and fonts are disabled on nightmare mode. Oh my god. I mean, that's pretty bad. Is it? It's kind of bad. So the floors don't get any bigger, but the fonts are gone. Namely the font of life. Boy, I don't know. This could be tough. This is a tough choice. Yeah, I guess we'll try it like this, but I think we do have to do... We can't do just, like, all damage received plus and the bosses deal 50% more damage. That's a huge spike. Faster, more health, more damage. It's huge. Huge, I'd say. All right, we'll try it like this. I have no idea how this is going to go, though. We'll find out. I don't know what the enemies look like on Nightmare. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, the devs of Dreamscaper, you know, I've spoken with them a little bit, and they do, they have promised, we got a kunai star here. Uh, wow, a legendary kunai star, that's kind of crazy. That's interesting, I don't know if I love kunai though, honestly. Um, the devs have promised to add at least one bonus DLC. Melee attacks block projectiles, that's interesting. Poison duration, and blah blah blah. We have crit on the start. Yep, crisscross, nothing else really great. Such so random I have a legendary ranged weapon at right out of the gate here. So yeah, free DLC. That's really nice. They actually promised that before it even had hit the full release. I mean we should be pretty good here. Oh, we got additional waves of enemies even it looks. This might mean that we get more sand, at least, though, right? More enemies equals more sand, I would guess. Oh, I'm at a lucid. I forgot. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Give him the pan. It has been a little while since I played. All right, there we go. Jeepers. All right, Minesweeper. Let's see. This one has to be a busy. <clears throat> hmm. This one has to be. This means this one cannot be. Oh, that one cannot be also. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I used to make fun of these puzzles, and then as time went on, you see the harder ones, I was like, okay, this is, <laughs> this is hard, actually. New melee weapon? It's quite a bit better, huh? Quite a bit better. La 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 la. It is a pretty, I don't know, would it? Would we describe this game as relaxing? It's kind of hard to describe any action game as relaxing, potentially. Huh. I guess I'll just take the one with the big armor here, huh? Why not? And I guess we can level it up. I might have, I must have uh, recently unlocked this. Yeah. It's just a lot of armor, you know? 
passive damage resist. How can it go wrong? Boom, boom. All right. But yeah, if you guys haven't checked this game out, I do recommend it. It's a nice game. It's not going to have all of the replay replayability that, you know, Hades has, essentially. Or some other roguelikes. Not yet, at least. Maybe someday, though. Fire damage. Hmm. I don't currently have fire damage. It's not a lot of sand, obviously, to recycle this. I just kind of find, like, early sand to get you kind of try to make yourself overpowered. Force that early on just feels uh, much better than struggling. Hmm. I don't love any of those, honestly. Both of trap resistant. Me get hit by traps? Unheard of. Unheard of. I meant to look up speed runs up this game. I wonder what those are like, you know? Okay. That was funky. I have a wave crashing or whatever. Kill it! Okay. Thank God I'm not taking additional damage right now, I guess. Pick that up. Right, right. I do love uh, the scenery. I don't always spend the time in games to like look around, but like you see like the little things like the bank in the previous little area, just like little touches like that and stuff. Gives you that small town vibe and everything. All right. Could this be a secret? It's unlikely, but I also have four bombs. Okay, we're fine there. Potion there, what do you got? I don't know, do I start upgrading our legendary kunai? Burning step is okay. Yeah, wish I had kept that fire damage right up, help him. Uh, Burning Step's pretty good. I kind of like it. It's better than our crappy roll right now, it looks. Someday I'll do a not ranged build, I swear. Someday. It just feels like when I can do range and it deals more damage than my melee, why would I not? So often, you know? Why would I not? Is that a memory? No. Whoa. Okay. Oh boy. Oh! I got hit. I got hit. Okay, we're fine. This is an easy game to panic over too, I gotta say. <laughs> Still a lot of people telling me, no, Dan. It's not like Hades. You're wrong, Dan. And I love it when uh, they polish off that comment like, I haven't actually played Hades, but I've seen enough to know. <laughs> Believe it or not, a game can feel somewhat similar to another, even if it doesn't visually look the same. Believe it or not. Uh, down. Punished. Always punished. Bloop. Believe it or not. All right, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Give me something good. Hmm, not that good. I'll pick it up though, still. I can only assume that that doesn't affect range attacks, but it's kind of hard to say anyway. 5% just seems like so little, you know? So, unless you're doing a speed run, you would never skip the boss, right? I wonder if the speed run is just get an overpowered weapon, floor one, upgrade it a bunch, skip all bosses, then also go directly to bosses and stuff like that, win the game. Come on, how'd you not die? Oh yeah, that was supposed to be the hard boss too. Amazing. Hey, yeah, I'm not supposed to skip these. Everyone say hi to editor Andy. Editor Andy requested 
that I get footage of the, the bosses without skipping so that you can use them for thumbnails and stuff. Baseball cap. I mean, it's not my fault the game is pushing me to a range build. They're pushing me to a range build. It's not my fault. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can do about it. So I've been using Brucey Bruce here, which is a lot of crit stuff. I think I'm going to switch over to Eve for now. You can always change it in the middle of the run again later if I do find something. Bum, 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 bum. Burgers and pizza. Those are such two different, you know, meals that it's kind of surprising that they're often so paired. Not that I'm not saying the game's wrong, but I think it's true. Is it just because, like, burgers are easy? Oh my god. I'm getting trounced right now. Where'd you go? Am I gonna lose this challenge? Holy shit. Okay, we did it. I don't know how we did it. I was about to get really upset. Ugh. Uh? I'd probably take it, though, for the max health and the crit chance. It's less damage if I actually use it against enemies, but it does something outside of using melee attack, so I guess that's kind of something. E, very good. All right, we got to do better than that in the next room. Okay. I mean, I can use a lot of ranged attack, so I shouldn't be so shy about it now that I switched to Eve's Perception. Hmm. In there. Okay, I tried to use the alternate to... There you go. Knock him down. Give me that health. Wonderful. That could be a secret, potentially. And it is. Lovely. Now we got plenty of sand. We can use those upgrades. Boop. Now this room just kind of freaks me out. It's like we're inside of a whale or something. Decreases the cooldown of abilities. This is something I really wish I was better at. 20% a lot. And 112 sand is not a lot. I'll pick it up. I hope I can make good use of it. I can't promise. I mean, I must be talking about the lucid attacks, right? Parry two attacks or projectiles. That's a lot of enemies. Jeez. Got enough health? All right, it's fine. We'll, we'll parry these. No problem. Is this the last enemy? That's not good, if so. Oh my god. It is. I'm probably not going to get two. It's probably going to die from the first. Okay, come on. This time. This is the time. It's going to shake. Oh! Oh, come on! Is that too early or too late? Must be too early if, uh... <laughs> if I'm blocking it, but I'm not... parrying it, you know what I mean? Oh, I give up. I think it was going to die after one hit anyway. Thus, there would be no point. Thus, there would be no point. Those projectiles just move too fast. I think there are some projectiles I'm okay with. I don't know about this. I got some tips in comments. Like the short range dashes, perhaps like weave. I'm not even sorry. I think someone said acrobatic shoes, they're called. They give you more iframes, which basically means you're invincible a little bit longer. All right, we got an upgrade room. Uh oh, we're fine. I mean, I got a baseball cap. They gave me a legendary room one. What am I supposed to do? Let me look at this. Plus 2% crit, plus 10% perfect attack, plus 20% projectile speed, plus 10% range damage. I mean, that all sounds pretty good. And the shockwave is really nice, too. I think we gotta do it. Look at how cheap it is for now. Maybe I should have tried to find the shop first, because you can get, like, that keepsake that makes things free. Potentially free, I should say. It's fine. 
Oh, big boy down already. I'm coming for you. Oh, what? What enemy is that? I don't know, but they died. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. They died in one hit. I don't know if I recognize the enemy. They're throwing their own kunai at us or something. Oh, I only had a couple bombs left. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it's okay. Oh, dang. Okay, there we go. I should try to stagger them. Whoopsie. With one ranged attack and then go in for the point blank. What am I going to do when I get to the bosses? I have no idea. That's not very good for me. Plus 10% armor. I guess plus 10% armor, huh? That'll do. Make me take less damage. I only got one bomb. Doesn't seem wise to blow it there. So to speak. Speaking of bombs, whatever happened to the Bomberman franchise? Is that, is that still around? It was a, kind of a strange franchise, I always felt. As a kid, for some reason, I really liked Bomberman, or at least the idea of it, but I, like, never really played it. Like, I don't think I, The only Bomberman game I remember owning is Bomberman 64. And I don't know if that game was very good, to be honest. I have fond memories of it as a kid, but I feel like it was also really unintuitive and strange. Maybe it is good. Maybe it holds up. I don't know. It's hard for me to remember. It was more of like a weird... Like a lot of a lot of games back then were trying to transition into the 3D world. They all wanted to become like platformers and stuff like that. Hmm. And so that's basically what they did with Bomberman. But it kind of didn't... It never really made sense given that it's like a... Uh, it's like an arcade game, you know, in, in a lot of ways. Or at least it was meant to be. I guess it couldn't have been too bad. I mean, I, I mostly enjoyed it as a child, even though my taste was terrible. Dang, I really like the Frisbee too. The Ricochet is nice. But, you know, we can't, we can't get rid of this crazy kunai I got going on now. This crazy kunai. Will I ever graduate? I mean, melee weapons, they just seem more dangerous. Like, I, this I can treat like a melee weapon, or, or I can treat it like a ranged weapon. It's both. Why wouldn't I want to use this? It's both all at once. Burn duration. I don't think so. Grasp of shadows, I don't mind, but we probably just spend all of our sand on, uh, Upgrading since none of those really excite me. They don't they don't they don't tickle me I remember playing like some arcade style Bomberman game when I got a little bit older And thinking like this isn't that good <laughs> It was all right It was like a laugh for about you know an hour with some friends Training wheels is okay or I could just take Rain of Blades. It gives me an extra sand collection. I'll do training wheels. I'll do training wheels. If I get a little bit more sand, I might be able to upgrade it twice. It's probably not very likely, but I'll check this room anyway. All right, where is it? Two enemies? Okay, now there's more. No. Thought it was gonna get me. I thought you had me there. Alright. Well, I can upgrade at least once. Oh, I might have picked up potions because I forgot about the font of life. Classic alien. Going into... Second boss. With... One lucid attack. And that one lucid attack being the same one we started with. Crappiest melee is known to man. All right, here we go. We're not gonna skip these. They are lovely. There's one that I have. I'd like. I'd like to nitpick, and I'll and I'll point it out when we get there. It just feels like a little janky, 
the intro to that boss, to be precise. Prepare to get slammed, my friend. They changed this boss slightly. Oh, goodbye. They changed this boss a little bit. Don't we have hard bosses on? That we do. I think they made this boss slightly easier. Or something like that. Yoink. What do you got? Doubles currently held bombs and keys. That's not bad right now, huh? We got us some stuff. I need like 600-ish sand to upgrade again. I've been told I don't need to dodge my bombs. Uh, force of habit, I still do it sometimes. Played too much Isaac, potentially. Probably some other games I can't think of. Undermine. But yeah, in case you don't know, the, the potion is auto-recycle. That's what that is in the top left there on the menu here. So it just gives you the sand from them after you leave a level. So you don't have to go back and get them all. That's a nice little quality of life thing. The game's kind of slow paced, but at the same time, they, they did a lot to try to make things more smooth with the fast travel and like the recycle. Oh, I can't use my ranged attacks. Is this even gonna work? Oh no. Oh boy. Frying pan. My level one frying pan, ow. Oh boy, I'm taking damage for this. It better be worth it. Okay, that was stupid. Ow. I'm watching my health. Oh my god, there's more! What is that thing? It's got a big sword. I'm giving up. We have to use our ranged. I'm gonna get smoked if I don't. Okay. Give me this too, before we battle this thing. Watch out for that trap over there. The only problem with Burning Step is it's almost too far, how, how far it sends you, you know? Oh, goodness. And the game knew how to get me. The game knew how to get me. We're fine, everything's fine. Oh, awkward placement for that enemy. Okay, teleported right to me to bonk me. Yeah, the enemies are definitely different. They're, they're pretty tough. Got an extra variety here. Okay. All right, it's puzzle time. Hmm. Well, this is very weird then. That has to be that, so therefore this, this has to be like that. Okay. This kind of reminds me. I used to have this uh, little hand puzzle. You could put like uh, some cash inside of it. Or maybe like a gift card or something. And it was like a clear plastic puzzle with like one little ball bearing in there. And you had to rotate the puzzle to get the ball to a certain place so that it would open up and you can get the cash greatest gift I ever got. It wasn't even about the money, it was just hilarious. As a kid, you know? As an 11 year old kid. Who doesn't love a little maze? All right, no more than five seconds between attacks. Okay, that's easy. Please tell me that's everything. It's not. Okay, holy enemies. Woo! Oh, there's more. Okay, we're fine. We, get, we did it, we did it. It was rough. Trying to complete these challenges, you gotta, sometimes you gotta take the damage. I gotta wonder. That's a lot more armor, huh? Oh yeah. Well, with the 10%, I'd say. At higher difficulties, you might just have to give up on half the challenges or something. Maybe not like totally give up, but like that last one, I'm sure I could have played better, of course, but. Whoa. All right, watch this. I'm going to parry this thing. What'd I say? What'd I say? This is where I struggle with parrying. It's not that I, I can't perform it, but it's like... I can't do it when it's so hectic. You know? I can't pull that move out at any moment, necessarily. Plus 20% lightning damage. Or a lucid attack. Hmm... 
Uh, I mean, off balance kind of helps in some way, right? Use that at the start of the fight and then we deal crits potentially, or rather hopefully I should say. This just doesn't seem that good. Could just recycle it. I'm down a lucid attack. Maybe I should have checked the shop first. But here we are. It's fine. We got here. That's a that's the laser weapon. It's I don't love it and it's not very good anyway. A knife. No. Yeah, nah. I don't mind. I actually like roll a lot. 25% chance parry recovers 1% of health over one second. I just this doesn't seem good. Even if you are a parry god, a 25% chance to restore 1% health. I don't know. Like I get there's there's cheese there, but it's just that sounds really rough. I'd almost rather have it be a hundred percent chance, but you just get even l way less health. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'd love to check out someone who's really good at it. You know? I haven't used the slowdown once, have I? I think I didn't need it for the last boss, like I was gonna use it. Someday. Someday we'll be the people who are like, wow, look at him parry. Or maybe not, you know, whatever. Look at him go. Gives parry projectiles a random modifier. You can either pierce, ricochet, or home towards enemies. Yeah. Ugh. Even if I parried a lot, that's, that still doesn't sound good. My incentives to parry need to be much higher than what we've seen presently. Um... I think we'll, we'll be fine. I know it's just one bomb, but... It's fine. Right? It's no biggie. No biggie. Alright, we got an upgrade room coming up, it looks. So that's nice. These sword enemies. Yeah, these are new on Nightmare Mode. Get smoked, my son. All right, give me that, uh, that map. All right, so the secret room isn't down here. We gotta keep that in mind. This requires a key. Oh, we definitely wanna go in. Might as well upgrade our kunai now. Why not? Yeah, the shockwave is pretty powerful, I think. Projectile impact trigger shockwave that deals 97 damage. I think that's pretty potent. That's a lot of extra damage. It's almost like the kunais do double damage or something, you know, when they hit. Now there might be some semantics. Yeah, I, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> We're kind of okay anyway. I'm just gonna take a lot of damage and my health isn't that high uh, right now anyway. If I had like a decent arsenal outside of what we currently do, I might've considered. Ticker room could be here on the right. I'm gonna go for it. Never punished. Always correct. Bloop. Leech effects plus 20%. Well, I don't need sand that much, and in case I do find some leech along the way, I think that's okay. Megaton stingers. Hmm. Not great. New companion. Swirls around Cassidy, dealing 27 damage when it touches enemies, so I have to be close. Plus 10% sand collected, which isn't, which is always kind of helpful, but I'll probably just take this, honestly. I'm not gonna actually use the melee weapon for the most part. Some of them had okay effects, but I'd imagine this, this must be the best, right? I kind of feel like companions are a bit of a trap. Like all those, all those keepsakes are like legendary colored. They're all orange. But they, they're probably not always that good, you know? It's just not a lot of damage half the time. Gotta be something else, right? Oh! Found you. Kinda wish the camera had let me see a bit more there. I believe there was a potion in the shop. We might have to do that. Okay. Boom, boom. Let's see, we got the secret room. My health is quite low, huh? 
Whoops, I could have gone directly to the shop. Oh, well. We're going to buy the potion first, I think. I'm a bit lower than I'd like. Chances are we're going to cheese the boss for the most part, but still. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> That's not good. Uh, I might recycle a keepsake for this. I mean, I'll probably be okay. Poison duration? Yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot. That doesn't do a whole lot. That doesn't do a whole lot. We have a lot of bad keepsakes. That doesn't do a whole lot. That's good. Uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of one, you know, poison. That's fine. I don't think I need to reroll the modifiers on the kunai at all. This should be fine. All right, then we just go point blank the boss and it's a easy win probably. Might be slight overkill, but I'll probably need the health after the boss anyway. Like, I mean, for the start of the next floor, so. Can't imagine this being a huge mistake or anything. Ah, yeah, it's the timekeeper. One of the smaller bosses uh, here, actually, which means getting point blank shots is not as easy. I still don't really know what these things around the room do. I'm not sure. What are you doing? I'll just get you from over here, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, you done? Holy cow. What? They're so good at dodging. Alright, I guess I just do this now. There we go. And you're donezo. Thank you very much. Look at the ass on that thing. You guys see that? You see the little damage marker at the end. Alright, we're down at slight mana health. Plus 10% attack speed. Would you ever really recycle those? I can't imagine. I guess I'll skip that for the tiny amount of sand. Alright, so that's supposed to give me 45. I should make sure that the auto recycle gives me the full amount. It does. Very good. We're gonna leave on Eve's inspiration. Wonderful. All right, here we go. I haven't found a good use for the alternative attacks that the game was just telling me about there. Outside of breaking a shield. Like, I don't know if there's some method where they are good to use for anything other than breaking a shield enemy. I just don't know. I haven't been able to experiment that much, I guess. Yoink, 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 yoink. Okay. Big sorties. I don't like this enemy. Gotcha. Gotcha. No problemo. What? Yeah, tell me in the comments what games have you guys been playing. There's not a ton coming out that I've been looking forward to uh, after this. I got my eyes on some games, but you just don't really know. Ho, 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 ho. Nah. But ho, 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 ho. This might mean that I want to switch um, inspirations to Bruce, who is all about crits, increases our crit chance and stuff. I don't know, though. Maybe, maybe not. Right now, our crit chance is 4%. I also forgot to use that Lucid that has off balance. 4% is not a lot. That is for sure. Okay. Like, the only roguelike that's gotten, like, a good amount of, uh press prior to release right now is Deathloop. It's gotten a lot, obviously. It's a triple-A game. So we'll see how that goes. Do not use lucid attacks. Don't gotta pull my arm here. Alright, easy. Whoa! There we go. What do we get? Ground Sedge, plus 10% sand collected and health recovery. Those things sound pretty good, whereas the saute pan is utter garbage now. 
Get that out of here. Yoink, 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 yoink. Yeah, I haven't really been playing anything too spectacular. Ho ho ho! Am I gonna be able to get enough sand? I might have to recycle more keepsakes if I can. Rain of Blaze Lucid Attack. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here, but there's only so much you can do. Oh, this is early on in the level, so I'll probably get enough sand for that clover. Do I really go for Bruce then? I don't know. Yeah, I should have used that at the start of each room or something. Just get the off balance real quick. You know? Might help, might not. I assume it affects all attacks. Some of those things are not clear, though. Oh, one game I was playing offline was Darkest Dungeon, but god, that game is brutal. I'm always kind of weary of playing like slower paced uh, turn based games. Because I'm not quick when it comes to that stuff. Or, if I am quick, it's usually at my detriment. You know? Like, whoops, got myself killed. Because <laughs> I didn't think about things properly. Alright, let's see if we can figure this out. Let's see. Okay, like this, right? There we go, puzzle solved. Hmm, Astral Hop. I don't know. I don't mind Astral Hop. It's not bad. I'll show you what it looks like, I guess. I lose that range damage. I gain a little bit of max health. Yeah, it's okay. Honestly, I'll just keep the range damage for now. Plus, I need money. Well, I mean, recycling that would have been fine. Do not dodge. Well, that sounds kind of difficult. We'll do our best, though. Okay, well, how am I supposed to handle this? I have to traverse the lava. Taking some damage right now. Okay, there we go. We did it, though. Wanted to make sure we got enough sand. Blocks 360 degrees, but cannot parry. 86 armor. It's so much more armor. More lucid, too. I think I'll take it. It's so much more armor. We all know what's gonna happen with the parries anyway. They're not gonna happen, is what I mean. They don't even exist. I feel like I sound like... Woo! The person... who plays, like, uh, Mario Kart casually as, like, a party game, which is fine. And they say you can't go pro at, like, Mario Kart or something like that. <laughs> I feel like I sound like that person. There's always so much you can do. I mean, you can be pretty dang good at Mario Kart. Pretty dang good. Ah! Gotcha. Knock him down. Send them back to mama. Hello? Lovely. Give me that. We'll go this way first. Sort of the same thing with Smash Brothers, probably. Spend one key to get two bombs. No, I don't think so. Upgrade room. We don't really need. I don't know. We might want to reroll a modifier, but probably not also right now. Not on what we currently have. I don't know if I really want to keep what we have that bad right now anyway. I want, uh, there's like some lucids that just make you deal more damage for a little while. Seems like they'd be the, the best way for us to get better now. Wand of blasting. Let's see, what's that? Perfect attack damage up. Hold snap. Now, these are not very good, are they? I don't think I even want this. Grounded Surge, yeah. I don't think I want it. It doesn't really help versus bosses. It helps a, It helps in rooms. Hmm. I don't want the boxing gloves, really. Do I? No, I don't. Well, 
That or the plus health. I guess I'll take the damage. You know what? I'll do it. It's fine. Got an upgrade of room here, but I don't think there's anything I want to do with it. I'll just explore it and move on. I found the boss. And I can buy that thing that I wanted. Can I just go? I mean, I could potentially be missing out on... Uh... Well, I mean, sand is the obvious one, I guess. Uh, keepsakes, too. Other upgrades. I don't think the secret room can be connected to this. The left or the right, so maybe here, left or right. We'll try. Let's see. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna say... No, it can't be left, I think, so if it is here, it's this way. Ah! Deduction! I don't see much of a benefit in continuing to go. Shadow Step? It's okay, but... This one in particular is not great. Nothing really special about it. Health isn't max, but I think we'll be okay. I think. This boss is huge, so... I don't think it'll be a problem. Yeah, th so this is the animation that it feels like a little janky and kind of just weird. All right, let's get some damage out. Ooh, I was late for that. I'm surprised that, that, that let, they let that slide. All right, well, rip that boss right there. Resentment, resent no more. <laughs> Big hitboxes equals easy win for me, I guess, huh? What do you got here? Plus 50% max lucid? That's insane. That's absolute insanity. Bloop! Look at that bar go up. That's insane. Well, maybe now I switch away from Eve's inspiration and take Bruce's. You know what I mean? More crit stuff. Now that I have that much more max lucid, I'm much more comfortable. I think. Because I think the main thing about Eve's inspiration, or influence, I keep saying inspiration, is the plus 30% max lucid. Projectile speed is whatever. 16% range damage is good. But I don't think I don't think it's as good as uh, what Bruce is going to give us now. We're on the second last floor. We'll try Bruce, and if I'm not feeling it, we could always swap, swap it back. I guess. Like, if it feels like I'm running out of lucid and stuff. It could be that this is incorrect, just because the further down you get, the beefier the enemies, the beefier the bosses, stuff like that. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna need to use more ranged attacks to win, and so I could run out. Oh, I wasn't supposed to use a melee attack. Whoopsie. I saw the shield enemy and I just did the move. Like a fool. Is it, did it like pierce? It didn't. Hello? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is like a long room. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out! Use this thing? I'm not even certain what that does. Okay. I found it out. He dead? Thank you. Alright, well, we didn't take too much damage, at least. I got six bombs. We should be fine. Oh, I left some sand there. It's okay. Uh, I don't like this. Oof. Ow! That's bad. What an annoying room. Oh! We're doing great. Alright. If you have played Dread Escaper, I'd love to know what you think. You know? And don't be afraid to offer a criticism. You know? It's not a perfect game. I've definitely just gotten too comfortable with one build. Is this the game's fault, though? Probably not. But it's allowed me to get too comfortable with this one type of uh, strategy, I guess, is what you'd say, right? 
Oh no. What? That thing's still alive? I'm almost dead. I thought I killed it. I don't care about the challenge anymore. I just don't want to die. No! My build! I got scrammed. Dang. That's too bad. We tried. Let the try again. Maybe we'll try it with the... With a different intensity setting, though, or something. Oh, hot dogs. We, we had such a crazy looking build going into that, too. Oh, well, we tried. Anyway, guys, that's it for Dreamscaper for today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.